Hello, beautiful souls. I'm psychic medium Christine Gold, fellow empath, old soul, empath empowerment coach, author of Intuition Saved My Life, and speaker. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're really diving into the cosmic energies of July 2024. And let me tell you, it's it's a wild ride for empaths and light workers out there. The vibes are intense and we're all feeling the shift in the energy frequencies. And more specifically, I've talked about this, the Schumann's resonance, the global tone, the collective energy. And I'm here to be your guide through the energetic roller coaster in this video. So we're focusing on providing the energy ascension update specifically, uh, really tailored to empaths and light workers, because that's why you're here at this time. So if you've been feeling a bit off kilter lately at, well, gosh, lately, for the last couple months, honestly, um, you're not alone. I mean, this definitely is for you. So let's address the elephant in the room. Um, I titled this or we titled my guides, angels, loved ones when I did the channel. The message was turn the corner, rounding the corner. And I'm like, okay, what do you mean by that? Meaning we've been going through the muck, the shit, the, the weeds, the stuff. Some of us love the roller coaster and some want nothing to do with it, believe me. So the challenges that empaths and light workers are facing this month are no joke. I mean, if you're going through it, comment below this, you know, you're not alone. And that is why I have a community, a safe space that I've held since 2020 called the Soul Healers Community. And it is free. So I will leave links below for that. So then there's no excuse in saying I'm alone, I'm lonely, I don't have any friends, I don't know who to trust, I don't know where to go here you go spirit has delivered so the heightened energies can leave us feeling overwhelmed drained and even disconnected from our inner selves so it's crucial it really is to acknowledge these struggles and find ways to navigate them with grace grace that's a something that you already have and how do you access grace meditation through just really meeting meeting yourself at a soul level it really is um gosh yeah it, it's so important so now let's get really into the nitty-gritty of what's causing all this chaos and the specific energies and i will talk about all that and planetary alignments they play right now into what's influencing our spiritual journey in profound ways from intense solar flares to Saturn retrograde. Yes, there's a lot happening in the cosmic realm that's impacting us all on a soul level. Okay, so I'm going to get into the channel first. Um, got my little notes here. And really, it's about let, letting the healing begin. And that's something, one of my taglines as well as healing begins where the ego ends, because that's something I truly believe in the work that I do with clients and all the readings and the hundreds and thousands of readings that I've done. They, you know, clients show me the, the human spirit, the spiritual self as well. And to know that we're not alone in what we're going through. So let the healing begin with cosmic forces to assist us. We are the light and love. We have been waiting for you. No reset needed. More of letting go and letting God. It really is a time of true abundance, cosmic expansion, healing, love at all costs. No cost to us, rather a complete shedding, a falling away, a, a progress. We're shedding paradigms, old paradigms, old ways, history. Now, a little point on history. You can take the statues down, you can change names, you can do all you want. 
However, that is just replacing something and pretending it didn't happen. So it's more about history will not repeat itself. It stops with you. It stops with me because you have now the knowledge and you've turned that into wisdom. So they're saying no more excuses, only transformation, complete reclamation of mind, of body, of spirit. Collectively together, we are gathering in numbers that we have never seen before, never witnessed before. You know, you can think of it uh, back to the 60s. It was all love. Um, but in with anything, it there, there was some, there was some issues there, right? I'm, I'm not even going to go there. If you were in the '60s, you can let me know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I really, really feel that we have turned the corner. We, we were off balance for a couple months. We were feeling alone. We were feeling crazy. We were feeling overwhelmed. We we're feeling anxious. We we're feeling angry. We we're feeling rage. All of those emotions are valid. They are valid. They need to be released because too many times we have been suppressing what we already knew. We have been suppressing and pretending that it doesn't bother us. We're suppressing and pretending who we truly are. Our voice matters. We matter. All lives matter for that matter. So now I'm going to talk more about, we're going to go into like the planetary stuff, the moon. We have, it is cancer season. So if you're a fellow cancer, say hello. <laughs> the cancer sign is the opposite of my sign, which is Capricorn. Like it's a complete opposite. And my youngest is a cancer and I want to wish Connor a very happy birthday. It, it will be on Canada Day as well. So um, happy birthday, my loves. And there is a new moon in Cancer, July 5th. Now, new moons are about new beginnings, planting seeds, really having fun, like, like stepping and weaving into that cosmic energy. Whereas now we're going to move to the full moon in Capricorn, um, also known as the Buck Moon, July 21st. Hey, hold on. Didn't we have a full moon in June in Capricorn? Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Never in my lifetime. Now, maybe if you're a fellow planetary lover, astrologer, you'll let me know otherwise. Have I seen a full moon in Capricorn back to back like this ever? So, <laughs> and I am feeling it definitely um, because Pluto has been in my sign for a very long time, for 20 years. And, you know, I just recorded a whole bunch of courses in regards to planetary planets and astrology and zodiac signs. And they actually break down the different planets for how long of a time of retrograde they're in. Now, Saturn is one of the bigger planets. So, it went retro June 29th and will continue until November 15th. And that's where that whole shift, that golden age of Aquarius is coming in with Pluto as well. That It's all setting this up. And Saturn is Capricorn's planet. Ugh, boy, do I feel it. Not am I, only am I an Earth sign. I'm so pragmatic. Um, you know, I'm very, you know, methodical. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's too much in the left brain. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's also known as the disciplinarian. It's, you know, discipline. Saturn is discipline. Whether you're disciplining yourself or you're disciplining others. Um, and it's really about making sure things are in order. Yeah, I know. I'd like to do that. But there's a problem with control. We have to be careful of that fine line. It's also about responsibility. Gosh, I feel responsible all the time. And that's why my massage therapist says most of my tension sits up here because I feel the weight of the world. I feel responsible for the world. I take on way more than I need to. 
that's the biggest key. It's about authority. And yeah, sometimes we can be too authoritarian. It's about status. Oh yeah, the ego loves that. Look at me, I have all these titles and certifications and I speak on stage, I write books. Who cares? Morality. It's yeah, morals and ethics have always been huge with me. It's probably why I really enjoyed my time at the Better Business Bureau. Um and completing tasks at high speed. Oh my goodness, just you should have seen me yesterday. You wouldn't be able to keep up with me. I I don't know how many things I did in that in, yesterday, but I was like, wow. Just and then there's some days I do absolutely nothing. So um just know that when you're in your creative zone or your genius, just go with it. Other days might not be so much and you don't have to be always doing things at high speed. So retrogrades are a great time to reshift, refocus your goals, reevaluate really what truly matters. Yeah. So, so what matters to you might not matter to somebody else right? And we're not going to be forcing our agendas on people, um, how things should be. Don't should yourself. That's like the worst thing you can do. Secondly, I have been reading this wonderful book, or it's, it's more of a picture book, The Crystal Apothecary. Uh, apothecary, oh my goodness. Uh, 75 Crystal Remedies for Physical, Emotional, Spiritual Healing by Gemma Etherbridge. Can I say that right? <laughs> Anyways, the crystals for this retrograde for this month are black tourmaline, onyx, and obsidian. And it's all about having those crystals around you to absorb negative energies. So you're no longer attached to those energies. And it's making sure that you're aligned, you're feeling grounded, um, you're dealing with any mental blocks, uh, re really, really huge. So I love the library. This is where I got mine. Um, I've been learning a lot uh, more about crystals. I thought I learned. I thought I knew. No, no, no. That's my ego who thinks I know everything. No, we do not know everything. <sighs> we have to remind ourselves that we are students of the universe. All right. Let's get to the card one card for the month. I know people love their daily polls. Um, continue with that. This is more of the overarching energy for July. And I thought I would do this in real time. See what comes out. See what we are focused on. Okay. And I'm being shown the... Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. We've got the five of wands, five of wands. Take that in. Yeah. Normally, you know, or at least I've been told that the, the five of wands is about uh, fighting and competing and conflict. Um, it will be challenging. We're being pushed by others to excel. We're brainstorming, mental jousting, adrenaline and aggression, surpassing our limits right? Dynamic energy and leveling up. Look at that. Leveling up. As you can see, it, it's like a ladder. And sometimes we are too focused on the ladder. It's really, here's the mantra for this card. I support others and they support me. And together we rise in accelerated harmony. I love the focus on this. And there's nothing wrong with a little rivalry or competition, challenges. We just have to be careful. It's about healthy competition, collaboration, learning from others, enriching our experiences. I'm really feeling this. I'm collaborating more, um, aligning with other businesses and, you know, fellow practitioners who work in the, in the realms uh, of spirituality and of healing. Um, Calgary just broke ground in our first Indigenous healing center, um, which is aligned with the Indigenous way, which I find is amazing. So I, it's really about stepping back and retreating a little bit 
Um, maybe flying solo if you're finding it's unhealthy, if you're finding you're being pulled too much. Um, the next card, no, oh, this is funny, this is two. Now you now you got a five of pentacles. Um, and, and the reason I, you know, I was drawn to choose number two because it came out back to back. 55 and fives might be very significant to you. Fives are all about change. So you can see that she's focused, she's feeling left out. So where are you finding that you're leaving or you're being left out of what exactly? Or is this more of a state of mind because you see all the competition around you? I know sometimes I get pulled into that. You might have financial or health difficulties, worrying about security, a chance to clear blockages. So here's the mantra. Doors that activate magical opportunities are always open for me. So if there's ever a problem, see it as an opportunity. How can you do that? It's, it's the mind. So in this Saturn retrograde, being all about goals and, and status, where are you placing your goals and your status? Is it all in money and in the zeros in your bank account or the lack of zeros or your car, your house, your clothing, your friendships, the people that surround you? Be very aware of what's going on there. So those are the cards. And we're also drawing from inspiration uh, uh inspiration for the month for july what's the mantra what's the inspiration and i can't wait for my cards to come out <laughs> uh oh wow okay do today what your future will thank you for so again the message is what are you not doing today Whatever you're planting today will be your future, will be a legacy. And yes, your future, whether you're here or not, will thank you for it. So, yeah, there, there's a bit of procrastination here with the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. What's holding you back from this future? Procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. Believe me, I've done it. Wow. Okay. And this is a new t-shirt. I am going to, you know, if you'd like uh, to purchase one, the link will be below. I'm changing it a little bit. I got rid of the lady meditating here and just having the heart because I feel it's really aligned more with my podcast, Heart Led Soul Fed. Um, so let me know if you like it with or without. <laughs> I've asked the community and uh, most of them like without the lady. So as I wrap up, remember the importance of self-care, grounding, and staying aligned with your higher purpose. Take time to nurture your soul, connect with nature, and listen to your intuition. Trust that you have the strength and resilience to weather the any energetic storm that's coming along. So if you've resonated with this energy update, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And for more insights, don't forget to share your experiences and your questions in the comments below. Let's support each other on this beautiful journey of ascension. And thanks for sharing and tuning in and commenting. Uh, I really appreciate you. Um, know that I live, eat and breathe spirituality and today i was reminded on a walk coyote spirit animal coyote came through and showed up on my path and it's a busy walking path and his and i at, we locked eyes i said please could you go down into the valley so you don't people don't freak out oh there's a coyote what about my dog and you know how it, it tends to go there um, and he went gently down. He was beautiful. But the message is for me is to be have more fun, be more playful, right? Um, sometimes I, yes, can be too serious. Um, even in the work that I do and the healing that I do, I do take it very seriously because 
this, these are people's lives that are, you know, in my hands in, in a sense, their soul, at least their heart, right? Their, their being. And it's very important that I witness you or someone else realize how truly powerful you are, your aha moments, your epiphanies. And also I have a free webinar coming up July 11th. August, the second Thursday of each month. So July, August, September, the link will be a look below and it's about empaths versus narcissists, healing the power struggle forever. So that's kind of my gift to you. And if you'd like to work with me further, all the links will be below as well. Our one year mentorship is coming up starting in October again. We are almost complete with the last group coming up here. And I really want you to enjoy your summer. And please stay aligned. Keep sharing your light and peace with others. Take care of yourself.